Love is a currency which works in reverse. In order to be rich in love, you have to give it in abundance. That's what I want to do in 2021. Give abundantly. Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. It is your girl Jan and this will be my last video of 2020. <laughs> oh my gosh i'm specifically excited for this video because it's like we have done a full circle guys we are back in my car which is where i filmed my first video of 2020 where i revealed to you guys my mood board and we talked about goals for 2020 um and then you guys and i encouraged you guys in the comments section as well to share your goals so that we could just have a space to like encourage each other and hold each other accountable so this is the video where we are back in the same location my car <laughs> and we're just sort of gonna like review um the mood board review the goals i'm gonna share with you guys the goals that i feel like i've achieved this year and the goals which i haven't achieved and i'm also gonna share with you guys my 2021 mood board and main goals for the year i'm sure i do not stand alone when i say i am so ready for 2020 to be done and to just get out of here men you know what i'm saying get out of here Get out of here. 2020 has played us so badly. It's been such a crazy year. But you know what? I'm not going to sit here and complain because I'm healthy. I'm blessed. We are alive. So many people haven't made it through the year. Um, and the fact that we're just here, able to review the year and talk about plans for next year as well. It's all good. So all we can do is place our plans in God's hands, do our part and let him do the rest. Deep this though, guys. 2020 it took me until february to have my goals ready and share my mood board with you etc etc but this one for 2021 is coming in december 2020 <laughs> this is how you know i'm ready for the year to be done and to just get out of here so um i'm not going to spend too long um on this mood board um because we're not trying to dwell too much on this 2020 um but i do feel like faith has been a big part um of my year so this was my faith corner because it has been such a challenging year honestly and the only thing that i could really hold on to was faith everything else was uncertain but the one thing in life that does not change is god Mito. one thing in life that does not change is our god he is unchangeable the same yesterday today and tomorrow he will never change he will always be good so 2020 that is what i have been holding on to so um, I'm quite happy with that. This was meant to symbolize me spending more time with my friends. We've been in about like 10 different lockdowns this year, so that hasn't been able to happen. Thanks, COVID. 2021, we move. Um, lights, camera, action here was supposed to symbolize me um, taking my YouTube channel more seriously, uploading more, which I definitely feel like I have done in 2020. So I'm quite proud of myself for doing that, for giving you guys more content than I did the year before. I think. 2020 i released double the amount of content um that i did in 2019 so i'm pleased i've definitely worked towards and achieved what i wanted here and in 2020 my channel did also get monetized so that is thanks to all the support that you guys show me watching my videos loving my content sharing it so i am so appreciative of that and i don't even know how i can thank you guys enough <laughs> um moving on there's a few things on here that say that i wouldn't that i haven't really achieved happiness and self-care i've definitely focused on a lot more this year definitely feel like i've focused on making sure i'm good I'm working towards the things that make me happy definitely been a lot more happier this year than i was in 2019 and i'm definitely um in a good mental space right now can't say it's been the same for the whole year um but it, it's been a process you know it's always a process mental health mood happiness is always a process things get in the way things come out of nowhere you get shaken up um, but you get up and keep moving so yeah i'm happy i've been um, working actively towards like self-love self-care and taking care of my mental all of that um i haven't really given my hair as much attention as i should have this year um french is always gonna be <laughs> one of my goals i can't even lie this year it didn't really happen playing the piano i did practice a bit but not as much as i should have but you know what the goals that we didn't achieve this year 2020 we move we go again you know what i'm saying i was meant to be drinking more water um this year as well but my love hate relationship with water is ongoing and so that goal is ongoing too the last thing i'm gonna say i can definitely say that i've been focusing on my grades a lot this year i passed um 
my third year of medical school made it into fourth year of medical school that is an achievement that i'm super super proud of as well in 2020 um and the theme for 2020 for me was actually i can um and i feel like all the main things like the things that were mostly important to me this year my happiness my grades um my youtube channel you guys all of those things i have reached milestones and achievements that i'm really proud of in 2020 um so i'm happy about that moving on to 2021 so um my mood board for this year is a lot tinier as you can see it's because i haven't managed to have access to a bigger printer to be able to print it on but this is what we're working with for now essentially i've gone back to having quite a wordy mood board as you guys can see i feel like when i have a mood board like this it allows me to like be more specific with my goals i know i said before i don't really have time to be reading and reading um but i feel like this year especially i want to be more focused on very specific things and i thought the best way to sort of get that across um as a reminder to myself is if i have it listed out do you know what i mean like <laughs> if i have it listed out on a piece of paper um i am yet to print it on a bigger paper probably a3 um, so that i can stick it up on my wall and it can shout at me every morning <laughs> like i had with my 2020 vision board this was like the best thing on my wall and i can't wait to print this on bigger paper um to have it on my wall as well so i've split my goals into different sections we've got relationship goals spiritual goals academic goals financial goals health and productivity goals as well as branding and social media goals because i'm trying to be more serious about that in 2021 i've got one of my favorite bible quotes in the middle there to remind me of what i anchor myself on and my main bible verse for my goals this year is ephesians 3:20 which is now to him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask or think according to the power that works in us that that is one of my favorite bible verses because to me it's like i could set all these goals out for myself but god is able to help me achieve things exceeding what i could have ever asked for or could have ever thought in him there is abundance in what i need in him there is a abundance in what you need but that as this verse says is according to the power that works in us so it reminds me to always tap into prayer tap into worship tap into the word tap into the power that's going to work within me to be able to exceed anything i could ever ask or think through him anything is possible i i did not mean to make this video to preach to you guys i'm here to share my goals um but i cannot talk about my life and not talk about jesus and which brings me to one of my spiritual goals is to be louder about jesus in 2021 jesus deserves every bit of credit every bit of honor everything that i have in my life i would be nothing i wouldn't even be able to come in and speak in front of this camera i wouldn't even have the capacity to achieve anything i've achieved this year if it wasn't for jesus the capacity to sit down and even plan for my 2021 um so 2021 y'all gonna hear about jesus and if you don't like that i'm really sorry but jesus is my everything so we are gonna love on him in 2021 okay <laughs> my other spiritual goals include like weekend worship piano and sing so i just want to set aside time every weekend to sit at my piano and just worship and sing and connect with my creator um and i want to have more regular check-ins with mama g who is like my spiritual mother and mentor essentially we read the word together and we do like check-ins every so often to make sure um, that i'm on track with my faith that i'm on track with my walk with jesus and my purpose um i have 2021 relationship goals which is um to be open to loving so I heard this thing recently that love is a currency which works in reverse in order to be rich in love you have to give it in abundance i can't remember where i heard that from but that hit a nerve that's what i want to do in 2021 give abundantly because that is the only way that you can be wealthy in the currency of love i also want to be open to new people making new friendships but with discernment um i want to be a present family member and i want to have good communication with um, my team i'm so blessed that um, my team is expanding the people that i'm working with bring you guys content so i'm super excited um, my branding and social media goals include me um, producing more video content for instagram i would like to um, create a long-standing affiliation um, with at least one brand um, and then also weekly youtube content for you guys i feel like my content um up 
up to date has been like quite inconsistent but i want to give you guys consistent content something that you guys can be you know expecting weekly like yes jan is dropping a video today i want you guys to also be excited eh? weekly <laughs> um but i'm hoping that will also help with growing our family as well so we can reach more milestones together I also want to start in 2021 um, a series Learn Luganda with Jan. I know there's so many um, young people out here in the diaspora that need that need that source where they can learn the language so that's something that i want to provide as well that's something that i've actually been planning for a while now and it's something i want to manifest and make happen in 2021 health and productivity goals look like gym three times a week when boris decides to open them i want to learn a new song on the piano weekly daily to-do lists oh my gosh guys without my to-do lists i am nothing i know i say without jesus i am nothing but in second place without my to-do list i wasn't nothing i feel like if i don't write a to-do list for the day i get nothing done i had a period in 2020 where i was so unproductive and i was trying to put my finger on why why am i not getting anything done why do i feel like a bum and it's because i wasn't making daily to-do lists you know so 2021 i want to make it a thing i want to have a to-do list i want to be productive i want to make things happen like i'm such an action person when i'm not doing something i feel like i'm just being wasteful like do you know what i mean so 2021 that's what we're on um and i want to have morning green tea every day and drink more water oh long story short guys my camera flopped on me and died probably a sign that i should start to wrap this video up because i didn't want it to be too long anyways um i was just talking about my academic goals um i just want to you know be on job with my revision um and, and also present medical research that i've done at conferences that'll be something good for my cv in the future um and the last thing i think i didn't touch upon was just financial goals so i want to create a new stream of income this year and also invest in something long term so for me 2021 is going to be the year of proactivity discipline and focus that is my theme that is what i want to focus on in 2021 but yeah that's pretty much it those are my 2021 goals so i hope they have inspired some of you to get to making your goals have you made your goals list yet for the year your new year's resolutions your vision boards share with me i want to hear it all i love conversing with you guys about these things how was your 2020 did you achieve the goals you wanted to what are you going to do differently in 2021 let's hold each other accountable again thank you for watching my video i wish you all a happy new year in advance and an amazing 2021 see you on the other side